Well, welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. Today, I'm going to talk about the cycle of life and death. Well, actually, I will talk about this subject. And then uh, one of our participants, uh, Didi, asked me a question. And, and I'll get into that, too. Um, let me see. Maybe I do this first. Hi, Didi. Oh, hello. Yeah, hi. Hi. And, uh, thank you. It's nice connecting with you. I um, I know that it's been years ago that you were you came to one of the 5D quantum healing uh, events we had here in Venice Beach. So uh, thank you for reaching out to me. It was very nice. Absolutely, it's actually more than once, and uh, and I enjoy it very much, very much. Thank you. So you had a, do you mind, you had a question for me. Do you mind if you share it with us? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, um, I, I know that sometimes um, our bodies shift in ways so we can receive downloading, upgrading, whatever that is. And it's been tw two times and almost two full days. And there were three weeks apart where I had symptoms of, uh, great, great fatigue, strong headaches, and um, what was the other? Oh, no, uh, a lack of appetite. And then the one time I felt almost feverish, the other time I didn't. Um, but then it's just completely gone as if it never happened. And so I just wanted to get your take on, on what could be happening energetically. Right. The... Um... Well, we're continuously evolving, and we, I, I will put it in different ways. So one of them, we can say that we're in this purification process. And, you know, some people may think about it of, oh, well, how could the soul not be pure, or why does it need purification? And, you know, that's definitely is a matter of wording, but... It's not like the soul is not pure and needs to get purified. It's the process of our evolution in this body, in this form, at this time. There's this expansion is happening in our consciousness from a singularity, single pointedness that I am a human, human being separated from the source separated from everything else because of the sensation I have and the sense of being a, having the ego, this change starts to happen. The realization that, wait a minute, I'm connected to other things and it's beyond just being one person. So, the shift begin to happen. And as the shift happens, things starts to change in the cellular memory. And um, it's like the program is starts to be rewritten. And when this program starts to be rewritten, the it's like a computer when you're upgrading your computer with a brand new program. And the you go through the process of upgrading it and then the computer gets shut down. I don't know if you've ever seen that. And so the body goes through the same situation. Things starts to be rewritten. Old information, old belief system that we have, which I'm separated. I am someone name this with this identity that person begins to gradually or suddenly die and to become renewed to somebody else and this with different people happen differently but it's still the same process that takes place and we can see it in life in the the change of seasons in farming that how things change if you go hiking or you're on the land, you can see that with different animals and 
uh, creatures of the shift which is happening or the caterpillar that is turning to a butterfly. And when that process is happening for the caterpillar for the first time is very frightening because you don't know what's happening. It's a metamorphosis of the old you turning to the new. And all of a sudden you're shedding your old skin and something else is, is coming. And then you're opening up your wings and their wings. And now you can, from being limited on the ground that you had to be uh, crawling all over, all of a sudden you're coming to a point that you can fly. That's a major shift, yet it's frightening and painful at times. So a lot of times when we're, we're in a process like that, if we don't have the right teachings and guidance, naturally it could be very frightening and confusing of what is going on. So that's what's going on. And the death of the ego, the death of this imaginary person that I am someone separated from the all, therefore I have my own free will and I can do this or I can do that and these are my mistakes and I've gone wrong here, I should have done this or I should have done that or let me pat myself on my back because look what I've accomplished, what I've done. That part starts to die and dissolve into the truth of the being. And the truth of the being is that there is no individual on this planet that is separated from totality. It's all part of the oneness. So that illusion begins to fall. And in that the body and the mind and the emotions, they go through a metamorphosis and a change. And sometimes it's confusing and painful. Like, is there, does this make sense, Didi? It makes sense though, I don't have any fear. So that's the part, you know, I, I don't have any fear. Right, it's just an observation. Yeah. Right, yeah, I mean, not necessarily, I, I was just generalizing this answer uh -huh. and uh, and obviously you've evolved to a point that you're not afraid of what is happening, but naturally you're questioning it, like what's happening? What is this? So but yeah, it was interesting because the first time I actually, I thought I was dehydrated. <laughs> it was like wow. symptoms of dehydration. And then I'm thinking, oh, I need more water. And then when it happened the second time, I thought, I had had plenty of water. So then, right. you know, one questions, because also it's flu season. There's so much going on and we do wonder, well, is it a physical uh, illness? So there is that question. Right, yeah. right. right. And so I guess there's, there's uh, for me, the only way I, I really know is if I'm healthy the next day. So that's a confirmation for me that that is, there is that, uh, frequency shift that is happening and, and manifesting in, in the physicality and, and spiritual um, realm, realm. Yeah, the body can't help it not, not react. So, and you always know whether you're coming down with a flu, uh, you know, down deep, you have an idea of whether it's metamorphosis and you're going through a frequency change or not. Uh, especially when you become aware of it. And, um, uh, you, you, you know deep that what is going on when you really look, look into it.